Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. I have a flip through uh, and share today and then some news. I'm going to follow it up with some news here in a minute. Um, this project right here is going to be the next project uh, that we do together, but I'm going to show you. Um, this is an open spine journal. And I had mentioned mentioned it the last time I had seen you, but I'm combining it. Let me get straight here. Um, I'm combining it with an envelope stack. Okay, so it's going to be a set. This will be listed in our my Etsy shop. Um, let me just show you. Okay, so I have made these envelope stacks before. Um, I think it was like a year ago and I actually done a tutorial series on making them and I showed you how to make a drawstring bag. This time I decided just to make a simple pouch for them and as you can see this is kind of like it's an antique uh, style pouch. Very simple. There's the back. There's muslin under there and then this uh, lace over top and then this applique and some trim. And this just folds out just like this. Now, I made it large enough where you could store your journal in it as well. Okay, so um, I wanted to show you that and that will keep you know your journal nice. And here is our envelope stack. So I'm gonna show you that first. And all of these envelopes are full, full, full of really fun ephemera. Um, this open spine concept, uh, I was inspired by Ruby and Pearl. And, um, but I did mine a little bit different. And um, when I do the, uh, tutorial share of this um, I'll explain as I go through uh, just because I, I felt like this would better suit my style okay so let's get into this envelope stack I have this um, all the little stacks there's one two and three stacks of all varying sizes of embellished envelopes uh, tied up with this and I'm using um, chapter one papers in this and it's their French, French florals kit and they, they are just really pretty. Okay, let's start with the first stack. So each, each stack um, I have tied up. So there are three different little stacks here. Here's the first one. Um, I also used in this one, let me see, some of uh, the coin envelopes. So this is a little bit different than my past uh, stacks I did because I did add some coin envelopes in. And each envelope you'll see is unique. And I actually did a second stack to go, here's my second stack to go, this one's even cuter I think almost. Uh, in the next journal that we make together. Okay, so what did I do with the first? I thought I had another. Oh, here it is. The first envelope, I'm gonna open that. You can see there's some stamps and different things on here. And I'm just gonna quickly go through and show you all the ephemera uh, because these uh, there's a lot of ephemera uh, for whoever purchases this to use in your journals. Uh, all vintage style ephemera, and then some of the um, journaling, little journaling cards from, uh, let me just put this aside as we do this, uh, from the chapter one papers. And um, there's some collaging here, as you can see, old piano, uh, piano, uh, a player piano paper and some embossing and wax seal uh, with some trim there. And I did the um, Velcro so that you could keep the wax seal in. And then there's room in here. And you could also gift these, but they're going to be fun to tuck in your journals because I have quite a few pockets in there. Okay, so you can see all these cute pieces of vintage ephemera. 
Okay, so there's that's in the, the next little envelope. And then the third envelope of this stack, um, I kind of like the, you know, the, I kind of placed them where they're, they laid a certain way. So I was kind of like, eh, you know, a little particular about the way I laid my envelopes. Um, you can see some trims and then a label on here. And let's see what we have in this one. A little trim, rosebud trim back here. Okay, so we have this one. This, I love that, petticoats and bonbons. So that's in that one. Okay, I'm trying to lay these back so I can... Uh, and then this is another size coin envelope, and you can see some vintage music on here, a little bit of collage, a little trim on the side. Actually, it will go this way, though I have it laying this way in my stack. Okay, and some fun reception flakes. I do not know what those are, but anyways and Parker's Tonic. So that's in this one. So you can see I printed on both sides. So you have a real pretty print on the inside of these. Okay, and then our next little stack, I think this is just in a bow, yes, okay. So we've got this little mini envelope. Some of these I made myself, quite a few of them actually. Little, little bitty envelopes and little bitty uh, ephemera pieces. Okay, and then moving on. Uh, this is just a faux envelope here, but I actually have a little Tim Holtz clip here and this just folds out like this. So you can see this side, see the little faux envelope. And so you can write in here. And then I just added a couple of pieces of ephemera in, in that one. And I just thought it was cute in the stack. So that one, put that aside and this cute coin envelope here. We've got a little button sorry lace and um, embossing and a little stamp. And we've got two pieces. Uh, this is a journaling card and then this ephemera here. Back ache plasters. Okay. And then the third in this little stack, I've got a little key dangle here. Some of my little embellishing here, a little coin, a little tape, and our little stamp, rather, coin. I don't know where that came from. Isn't that cute? And then a journaling card. Let me see. Yeah, I got more in here. Some of them get stuck inside lemonade. Okay, so that's in this cute envelope. And then our last stack, which is the large stack, just got this um, tied up with some jute trim. Okay, and um, this is just a coffee stained envelope that I made and uh, out of coffee stained paper, I should say. And then you can see there's some collaging, some vintage paper, lots of different trims on this one. Let's flip it over. Uh, I've got a little seal here with some soft um, trim. And this in it, I think, has a French receipt. Uh, yeah, or a French document. Okay, so I'm not gonna undo it. So it's a great big document that you can write on. And the back, those are always fun. And then this ephemera, and then this journaling card. Okay, and then we've got this cute one. Lots of little trims and stuff here. A little pearl brad, a little sorry for the catch. 
Okay, in here I think I have a little booklet. This one's pretty well stuffed. Yeah. Okay, we've got this one, this piece of ephemera, this French, uh, French, or French, I guess it's a um, ticket, and to, I think, something, uh, journaling card, and then this sweet little um, booklet with some coffee stain. Well, no, nope, it's just stenciled with beautiful pattern paper, and I did a little scallop along the edge there so let's just slip that over there and then this one i have i don't know why that's oh okay this uh this is unsealed on both sides and i made it into a pocket on the back so you can see the trims here so both sides are open so you can keep the this on one side if you want and in the little pocket we've got a couple of journaling cards this one and an ephemera there i should say and then inside the little envelope um to see this just folds down like this so you can write on it and you can even glue it down if you want to and then we have this one this postcard journaling card and two more pieces of ephemera this is um pretty much a french theme um simple french theme you know i made it very shabby you'll see and it's very grungy so i thought it just went with the papers and everything now we made this together and uh i did a tutorial on making these um, out of invitation. So that's popped, glued down on the top. Now the way this is, uh, the sari that I've wrapped around it just opens like this. And um, this will also keep your journal closed. So this just wraps all the way around it this way. And it also secures it um, on the edge as well. So there's, so there's that. So this, this one wraps all the way around, and then this goes here, okay, and ties up. Now, uh, so you can see, here's the book. I've done some embossing. It's very vintagey, very aged. Uh, I've got some pretty lace that wrap around the spine. It is an open spine. It's kind of pretty much covered uh, with my sari that I wrapped around it in this. So in here, I want you to see the back. So there's the back. And I really was pleased with the way this came out. Now our little flip here, we've got some embellishment here. It's a window pocket, as you can see. Um, and this just flips open like this. Okay, and then you can see all the embellishing here. And then we've got three tags. This is actually, um, I think we made some of these together. Okay, and then this side, one more tag with trims, labels, places for you, some stamps, and lots of fun. Okay, getting in, this is a very simple journal on the inside. Uh, you can see I just have this collage and I've uh, put Mod Podge on the vintage music paper because it's very old. And then we've got a little pocket here that's sewn and in it. We've got a tag. We've got a little booklet. Okay. And a aged French uh, advertisement. And this is on cotton paper. Okay, and you can see these beautiful papers from, um, look at this, I love this. It says Jules Chatty. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. No, no, no diary or something. I don't know what that is, but I do get chatty, don't I? So I just love that that was in the paper. Okay, I'm simply gonna just quickly go through here, handmade paper, two pieces of ephemera, a little pocket, collage tag, 
and another tag. I think this is a little booklet. Yeah, a little scrappy tablet. You can see very, um, very shabby, torn style, kind of as torn as I can get. Torn journals. Is this is as torn as I can get? <laughs> okay, we've got the center. We've got a little envelope here. Uh, okay, another little fold out here that I just have tucked over that and some fun um, printed vellum for you to use through the journal. You can see I made everything very rugged and shabby, kinda, just like it's been handled for years. You know, you can see I've got some embellishing there, some more vellum. Doily bag. I've got two, I've got top tuck and a bottom angled tuck here. French uh, book page cover, a journal card, and then a journal card up here. Just a real fun little set. Love this paper, it's just so pretty. We're in the second signature. You can see the open spine here. And I like it because it lays so flat. Got some fun ephemera here. This pocket, this paper is so pretty. Uh, I've got two of my collage, large collage tags in here. It says free to fly. Um, I have a French document oh, uh, just draped over this coffee stain paper uh, <clears throat> in one of my um, embellished paper clips. So that's what's on there. Some printed vellum. Vintage uh, music. Parchment. Another um, my embellished. Collage tags, large collage tags. French document on cotton paper. Middle of the second signature. A little Tuck spot here with a little vellum window pocket. And that brings us to the back of the journal. So this sweet little set, I've got to put it all back together uh, with all the ephemera and envelopes. It's going to be hopefully in my Etsy shop by the time you see this. Uh, but please come back for uh, the making of this and speaking of my Etsy shop, I am going to be having a 20% off Summer sale. So I have some beautiful journals in there and so uh, If you wanted one of my journals, but can't quite afford them I've got four journals in there two are in the higher price points two will be in the lower price points And this is going to be in the mid price point. Okay guys. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Bye. Bye